This film can't be uh, a big sort of out and out political story story but what I'm hoping is that you can you can show and chart a history that maybe makes people go away and maybe think. Hi everyone this is Silas from AsianCultureVulture.com and with Dilesh Korea who is the director and editor of the film Keki Mandel House of Art. Dilesh welcome Hi. to AsianCultureVulture.com. How are you doing? Good thank you good looking forward to this. Yes we're here for the world premiere at Regent yeah. Street Cinema as part of the UK Asian Film Festival. Tell me, how did you come to be involved in this film? I've known Beros uh, for a number of years and uh, I've edited uh, a couple of projects with her pr prior to this one. And then, you know, um, 10 years ago she came to me and said, I've got this lump, whole load of material and I want something made of it. It's about my dad and I, at that time, didn't have the time or energy for it. And I said, no. And then she came back six years ago, four years later, and said, look, I still can't get this made, can you help me? And I said, let me have a think, you know, I'm not sure, it's about your dad. And she, I said, He's into, he was into art, she said, yeah. And then I said, show me a piece of art. Because I wasn't sure, I'm not into make, making biographies. Right. And she showed me a, a picture by uh, Tide Meta called Falling Man. And I looked at that and I went, oh my God, this is the artist that Keku would pr promote? And she goes, yes. I go, right, now I'm interested. Now there's something to get your grip, teeth into, you know? So you came into it in the art because you weren't, I suppose you weren't, were you very familiar with Beres' story? And No, no, not at all. So really it was the art that, that drew you in. Yeah, yes. yeah. And then what was like your primary consideration when you were, oh, it's such a lot, you must have had a mass of material. Yeah. A different, you know, the cine film, there's... Um, there's obviously some more formal type yeah. interviews and how, how did you, what was your kind of primary consideration well, when you were sitting down and trying to pull a, uh, put a narrative together as an editor? The thing is, you know, the thing is to, to make um, a film like this, mm. I'm, I as a filmmaker, I'm not really inter interested in telling straight biographies of someone and saying, oh, look at this person, isn't that person really great? Mm. So it became a way for me to tell things that I felt were really important to be told. Stories about the history of India, uh, the stories around the, the artists, and stories around where India is at this present moment, even. You know, it's a, it's, and if you can take someone's life story and extend it into these areas, then you've got something. Otherwise, you know, I'm making all the audience come along and watch this film for an hour and a half, and they might come out at the end, yeah, great character, Keku Gandhi, but so what? It has to have more right. than just that. I mean, over the period of time of making the film, I realised what a, an amazing person he is, and what he actually achieved. Keku's enthusiasm for what the art world could be, and how it could lead modern cultural invention in Bombay, in India, was really, really significant. But Keku Gandhi, and his story is a vehicle to tell it something hopefully bigger. And um, what is that bigger story, if I can put you on well, the spot in that way? Yeah, I mean, you know, we have, for me, you know, the emotional heart of the film, and you have to look at the end of where you are, you know, in the film. You know, India's going through all sorts of changes. It's gone through a huge historical uh, shift. It started as a country that was one secular, and it believed in, 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 in a unified, you know, multicultural ideal, you know. And all these artists came from that secular belief. And Keku was fundamental to it, you know. They all, Muslim, Hindu, wherever you were, you would make these art. Yeah, yeah. And then by the end of the film, tragedy comes apart. You know, this, this story of a secular ideal is once questioned and beginning to crack. Art that gave voice to a new nation, born out of the bloody upheaval of partition and independence. So do you think this film is a bit of a clarion call then for those, not in a very direct or overt way, but a sort of almost kind of nostalgic, I get that impression when I watch it, that this was a Bombay that was kind of thriving because they were all different communities and they were mixing and they were getting ideas from each other and there was a real firmament, an artistic Firm, intellectual firmament and that's where the art was being created and it's an exciting city. Uh, 
And now I don't know whether it had that same character. I think, without doubt, I mean, art is always being made. People always talk and people always come together to create, you know, art, whether it's oppositional or whether it supports whatever, you know, that it's always there. It doesn't stop. But what is maybe the situation now is that you, one could get into a little bit of trouble if you create art like M.F. Hussein did. And, and one may be starting to create some sort of form of censorship, whether inside themselves or not. So, you know, I have, you know, this film can't be uh, a big sort of out and out political s story, but what I'm hoping is that you can, you can show and chart a history that maybe makes people go away and maybe think. I, I think what I like about it is that it reflects the energy of the, the city and that time period and, and, that's what gives it real heart in the Talon's music, Rivera's uh, narration, and then the way you put the, the visuals together, it tells a beautiful story about the city and not just about the artists. So, and obviously there's Rivera's own family story in there and Keku and Korshad and how they brought those artists together. But it's a kind of, it's a larger story about India itself, I, I, I feel. I mean, I would, well, it's good because I was hoping for that. <laughs> I was hoping because, as I yeah. say from the beginning, you, there's no point in telling a biography of someone without having some sort of relevance outside. I mean, can I say, there was a, yeah. there was a, last, there was a last thing that I did. I, I, and I came and I was cutting away, putting it together, and then there was a last thing that I did, and I knew that something wasn't, you, you, this film was always the difficult we've always ha had was trying to make it as universal as possible. Yeah. So I always thought about my English friends here. So I've got the art story, it was there, easy. I got this history of India, it was there still. But then there was, an, there was a narrative that, I, that took a lot harder to pull out. And it, that is not overt, but, it, but it, for me it was there. And it's that moment where you see an old man who's rubbing a table and you see him shuffle around putting, putting um, flowers into a pot. Um, and for me, and there's a moment at the beginning, and it was something that I, I w really wanted to write, was that you can, you can think about your parents and they, people you, you take for granted, and then one day they're gone. And, and I was hoping for that moment that, those, that we will begin to relate those images yeah. to our parents, to our grandparents, to something about age and growing old. Yeah. You know, there was a young man who was vibrant in energy, and then at the end, he is a man who's just pottering around. Yeah. So I'm hoping there is certain universality there as well. Yeah, no, I, I think what's great about it is that it's very accessible. You don't need to know anything really no. about the artists. And some people can think, oh, it's an art film. and they, But it's not like that because it's a very kaleidoscopic overview of a city in change and the artists, their role in, in one part of that, the story of Bombay, yeah. Mumbai, whatever you want to call it. Um, and the way that Keku Bandi kind of brought those people together and that that created a certain artistic energy or an energy that went out into the world and reflected a part of India that not, people weren't really aware of. And I think the film does the same thing. Good, yeah, I think <laughs> I so. so yeah. Dinesh Correa, thank Thanks you so much. much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.